One of the things that we like to do at Live at ERS is bring you presentations that have practical implications for everyday practice. So I'm delighted to be joined by Shupa Oitra Maitra, who is involved in a session which was about the long-term effects of asthma. And intriguingly, you've been looking at not obesity causing asthma, but the other way around, does asthma result in obesity? Tell us about your study and give us a hint as to the results. Well, we, took, we took the participants from the European Community Respiratory Health Survey, which actually started long back in 90s and had a baseline visit and two follow-ups at 10 years interval. We just wanted to know whether the, the asthmatics started gaining weight at the follow-up. And yes, they did. In compared to the non-asthmatics, the weight gaining or the becoming obese of the asthmatics were pretty high. And uh, we also did some f fancy statistical models to, to test whether there are involvement of other factors. But no, we, we just found that asthma was alone responsible for this. However, the mechanisms of this weight gain or developing obesity is still to be disentangled. Because presumably we would imagine that if people give up smoking they might put on weight. Uh, we might imagine that people who don't exercise because of fear of exacerbation might put on weight. But what you're saying is actually there's something beyond that that is responsible for weight right. gain. Exactly. Because we adjusted our analysis based on physical activity and those who didn't physical, do physical activity versus those who did, uh, there was not much difference. So we can say that physical activity was not the right one uh, which, was train, which was shifting the weight gain. But we cannot say about the effect of stopping smoking. So smoking cessation could be another one. However, there could be other uh, things, for example, taking oral corticosteroids. But now we see that the, part, the asthmatics who are non-atopic, but on inhaled corticosteroids, they also developed obesity. So we cannot rule out the effect of inhaled corticosteroids at this moment. So presumably there could be many factors, stopping smoking, use of corticosteroids or other metabolic pathways which could lead to the development of obesity. Fascinating. Well, a very interesting piece of research and of course you can see that presentation and all the others in that uh, very uh, intriguing session, the long-term effects of asthma on Live at ERS Plus.